paradise comes to mailapur this is a story written by me and published in the form of a book and also as an audio book the book contains 19 chapters and i propose to present them in a series here this episode is chapter 6 of this book which briefly touches upon the basis of the fortnight of ancestors known popularly as mahalaya paksha or pitrupaksha chapter 6 mahalayam the fortnight of ancestors the fortnight of ancestors is a period of 15 days immediately prior to the beginning of dasara a number of people belonging to the vedic religion would be observing austerities throughout india in honor of the departed members of their respective families this corresponds to the dark fortnight of the hindu calendar month of bhadrapada the period is called as mahalayam pitrupaksha and so on depending upon the customs and traditions of the various kinds of people in different parts of the country the period comes to an end on the new moon day known as mahalaya amavasya and the 10 days dasara festivities start thereafter swayambhu came to vishwam house the next day to enquire about the arrangements to be done for the ceremony for the ancestors swayambhu asked or these austerities are also based on the puranas vishwam replied partly yes but more importantly it is based upon the philosophical aspect as uh, expounded in the vedas swayambhu asked what exactly is this philosophy vishwam replied well it is on the aspect of what happens to a human being after death and swayambhu asked a human being is no more after death isn't it vishwam said not exactly so to be frank with you it is uh, uh, something which i do not know much about i know only a little bit uh, swayambhu said tell me whatever you know and uh, vishwam replied well we are not simply this body what we know and see is our gross body but uh, we are able to live and perform actions due to some vital force where is this vital force the scriptures say that it is because of the soul which is within each of us swayambhu said most of us talk about the soul but we don't know what it is vishwam said yes of course Uh, this soul is uh, stated to be covered by five sheets the outermost sheet is our physical body this sheet is gross the remaining sheets are all subtle after the death of a human being the gross body dissolves into the gross elements of the earth which are basically the earth fire water and air the scriptures say that the subtle body still remains even after death and goes to the subtle or ethereal realm along with the soul swayambhu said oh i see vishwam continued so though i say that my father is no more it is not true according to the sanatan dharma he still is he is in a subtle form in a different world swayambhu so in other words our ancestors are living in a subtle form 
in another realm of this universe. Vishwam said, Yes, exactly so. That is what the scriptures say. The scriptures further say that when the sun enters the zodiac sign of Virgo, these ancestors who are in their subtle form would leave this subtle and ethereal realm and come and reside in their descendants' homes on earth for a fortnight. Swayambhu then asks, when they come, how can we know that they have come? Vishwam replied, no, we can't. Since the elements like earth and water is absent from their body, the subtle body of the ancestors is not materially tangible. Those who have faith in the scriptures like you and me believe that the ancestors would come invisible to our houses. The scriptures advise us to offer oblations to them and have prescribed certain procedures. That is what we follow and do. Swayambhu said, This reminds me of an article which I read a few days before. It says that the NASA's transiting exoplanet survey satellite named TESS has discovered three new exoplanets. These are the planets outside our solar system. It says that these planets orbit a star just 73 light years away. Out of these three planets, one is small and rocky. They call it a super earth. The remaining two are small and about half the size of Neptune. They call it sub-Neptunes. Vishwam said, oh, I see. So I am both then asked, will the realm of our forefathers be somewhere there? Both of them laughed heartily. Maybe, said Vishwam. This planetary system has been dubbed as a 270th test object of interest, abbreviated as TOI-270, said Swayambhu. Vishwam said, oh, I see. Swayambhu continued, not only that, the test satellite is stated to have found 27 exoplanets and is expected to find thousands of them. They say that there is a good possibility that the system includes other planets farther out that could be within a habitable zone. Vishwam said, hopefully they may find one where our ancestors live. The links for the book and the audiobook are given in the description part of this presentation.